Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special investigative report for Whiskey Sour Libations and Conversations. I'm your host, Dominique, and I have an amazing, an amazing guest here. I, I would say he's the co host for, often. And we have an amazing podcast together. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I was a whole other different person. I was going to go. L- listen, come on with your person. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, Leroy Watkins. Leroy Watkins. <laughs> What? And it's not spelled like the normal Leroy. It's two E's, then a R O Y. Lee Roy. It's like it's like you know, like Dana Dane, Lee Roy. It's two different I names. Hate you. I hate but you. One name. Make sure you put a space in between them. You put up there and Watkins. Two K's with the Watkins. It's only about oh. two K's and Watkins. I got you. That yeah. lovely voice is uh <laughs> Leroy Rockins. Watkins. <laughs> Watkins. <laughs> okay, I got yeah. it. I got yeah. it. Oh, uh, we are your host of uh if everybody <laughs> needs an Aquarius. <laughs> We're our normal selves on that show. Yeah. Yes. But today <laughs> You're talking about somebody. We we are about to dive into an investigative report simply titled America has a problem and his name is Drake. And he's not American, so that, that's a great start. Yes. So, great start. you know, I've been teetering for a minute about my feelings toward Drake. I feel that everyone feels like I have beef with people, and I really don't. I'm a forgiving <laughs> person. I like to forget and move on. I'm an Aquarius. I'm over it five mm-hmm. minutes later. It's because we're so flamboyant about, not flamboyant, we're so lackadaisical about the hate that people yes. say the hate's bigger than what it really is. It's yeah, and I'm like, you're, you're really making something out of nothing yeah. because that person is, it isn't even a forethought in my mind, right? Yeah. So I want to kind of go into Drake's history <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of low-key, like, weird grooming odd odd abuse to me you talking about the billy joe bobby bobby brown chick huh i i, I want to let's 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 just get into it okay we all know this guy aubrey uh graham mm-hmm. from his days as jimmy on the grassy never watched the show in my life wheelchair jimmy never watched the show but that that's okay that's cool i, was, I caught a few episodes uh, of Degrassi, uh, and and you know it's like a, a teen soap opera, right? That that's that's what it is. That's all it is. That's the best way to describe it. Teen shit. People shooting up schools because he ends up in a wheelchair. Those things happen in real life. Uh, okay. After Degrassi ends, and you see a little bit of his talent, he does rap a few episodes on, on the show. So I just want to put that out there. Don't know what's coming. Oh, but he something. does. Yeah, he does. He he was rapping. I remember an episode. I think he was rapping in the computer lab. I don't know. He was rapping. I do remember that. So, Degrassi is over for him. Okay. He morphs into what we now know as Drake. October's very on Drake. Um. He then catches the ear of a one young money, Lil Wayne, and he goes on to sign Drake. No, it's this amazing. No, that's not how it goes. I, it goes did he get shot? He, he caught uh, Jay Prince Jr. Oh, no, J- Jazz, Jazz, Jay Prince Jr.'s son. Uh, he hooked up with them first. Then they got him hooked up with Lil Wayne. He fell into Lil Wayne's lap. Sure. Put yeah. the accuracy yes. out there. I could give a fuck. But for this investigative report, we do want yes. the fact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we want the trail to be known. Because he started with strippers in Houston. So that's what let's just start there. Yes. That's that. And we're going to say, is that where he developed his uh, love or fetish of the stripper world? Would you like to confirm? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm thinking there. But, you, you know, you're born a sucker, though. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, it's just it just fed into it being in Houston. Okay. Okay, well, great. So from there, Drake, you know, Drake has dropped mixtapes, all mm-hmm. of this stuff. And he Drake has some good songs. He has some good songs. 
he had great songs. I still love Best I Ever Had. You know, uh, that was a fun summer. Not going to lie. Not going to discredit his talent at all. I will. He didn't write some of his lyrics, I don't think, no more. We just, all this stuff's up for question now. Hey, what do I know? I'm just a I'm just a journalist trying to you know report the news. Well, I'm I'm giving you, I mean I'm just saying shout out to Quentin Miller. Um, yes, yes. Reference tracks. Well, I was gonna get there. Oh, okay, my bad. I'm I, I, I was gonna get there. Um, so Drake is popular. Drake is famous. Everybody wants to be friends with Drake. Drake mm -hmm. is becomes friends with, you know, a lot of athletes uh maybe certain actors he's he's popping he's popular mm -hmm. yes you know in the in, in the midst of this he drops his original girlfriend people from i don't know if you remember nebby oh is that was she from the tv show with him I, no that was a different black girl i don't think they that they, they that girl they were i think they were in a relationship on the show but don't but quote me on that. i was not okay. Like I said, uh, I think this girl, this girl was something else. You know, like right. when I say something else, she wasn't, she didn't look like us. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, things change, people change, relationships change. It's getting more and more popular. And, you know, maybe there's something happening even between his label bait and Nicki Minaj. I cannot confirm or deny because I speak facts, right? And and that's never really been yeah, I don't know. proven, but based on this, people felt like there was chemistry there. You know, yes. He it was a weird point, you know, as he goes on in his fame. You know, he's dating, you know, uh the stripper girls or whatever, because we've never really known Drake to have like a consistent uh or really know if he's in a relationship we know he'd be fucking like he'd be fucking fucking which is cool mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he falls in love with a rihanna and professes his love for rihanna multiple times also very obsessive with Aaliyah. i don't know why people won't let Inshade. that and and shade I don't understand. I think the Aaliyah thing is always weird. And I understand that people love and, and, and have admiration toward her. Um, but I feel like Aaliyah will never be allowed to rest in peace. It's, she's always the center of some sort of controversy. Yeah. Why are you yeah. laughing? I'm serious. No, no, no. It's just funny that, that, that she said Drake won't let her rest. She be trying to rest in peace, and Drake is messing part of the people. Getting part. some random tattoo, putting her vocals on something, or doing something. And it's like, bruh. And I'm not, you know what, honestly, let's get to the gritty of it. Okay, mm -hmm. so he, he is in love with Rihanna. Rihanna might have given him some work. Of course. Yeah, you know. But Rihanna. Any of us, I mean, everybody gets sucked up in the Rihanna fan if you get in it. Yeah, so, I, I, so I'm not going to deny that. Do I think that happened? High possibility. Um, especially with her so close to being an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So um then other things happen along the way that just kind of make you look at Drake a little funky. You know, like him texting minors, and he is well into his 30s. Oh, he's 38. Right, he's right 38 now. yes but he was texting millie bobby brown when she was like 14 or 15. she just turned 18. she just turned 18. <laughs> so it's not even like hey man she was a book no she just turned 18. texting her you miss her um yeah also had a relation well was word on the curve was that he was talking to uh, another young lady when he was uh when she had was like 18 and he was like late 20s early 30s uh a model by the name of bella harris 
Bella Harris. Who was that? Bella Bella Harris. And so I just girl. cute girl, cute girl. Not gonna deny that. But my concern is sometimes there's like predatory behavior that has happened with Drake. And it's just weird. And I really feel like we allow certain things to slide because people are famous. But y'all don't think that that's weird that this 30 something year old man was texting Millie Bobby Brown. And yes, she can say, oh, he's like a big brother. Bitch, go get a big brother that's like three years older than you. Or where's your father? Yeah, <laughs> where's your dad? <laughs> where's your dad? Where's your mom? And, and and it takes me kind of back to the, the setting of R. Kelly a little bit because these parents are just as responsible for the predatory statutory actions that happen to their children. And she was born in 2000. This chick Bella Harris is born in 2000? Yes. All right, Drake. So it's one thing to be a fan of somebody. We're going to take the photo and keep it moving. It doesn't need to go any farther than that. Mm -hmm. No, let me get your number or anything like that. And if we really, and I get it, people also write their name on certain projects, but if you really want to be for real, look at Euphoria. Think about the hypersexual drug and do. Like, I love Euphoria though. I love you. It is good, it's but good it thing. is very sex heavy. Are yeah. people, are people fucking, sorry, today I said I wasn't going to curse. Are people really engaging in sexual activities like that in high school? Are we having sex parties and drug parties? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was your high school? <laughs> no, 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 no. The only reason I say that is we're ignorant to it because we're, we grew up in the Midwest. All my like East Coast friends when I was in graduate school, they told me they they seen all like they were people was doing drugs like going to rehab at like 18, 19, My friends in New York. Wow. So like, yeah. So like, I believe it. Like, if you are in the coast, like a West Coast or East Coast, like that Cali, mm -hmm. New York, for sure. Yes, it's crazy. You seen the movie Kids? That's real shit. I don't know what's that. Kids with uh, was Rosario Dawson's first movie. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I've never oh, seen you got to see Kids. It's good. Okay. It's, good. it's like it's Euphoria, but like in the nineties. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so um. The dude that played what you call is one of the main characters in there. Um, the dude that died that was in a fr uh, next Friday. One that what was, what was his name in there? Somebody the one that died was, in next Friday. The white kid that was um the skateboarding kid. Okay, I don't, can I can I, can we just have a moment of transparency? But he's one of the main characters in Kids too. He's in Kids okay. too. Okay, moment of transparency. Don't think mm -hmm. next Friday is that good. Adore mm -hmm. Friday. Friday after next, my shit. Yeah. No. 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 I, that's fair enough. Okay. Right, next, uh, I, that's allowable because but no, but I, the kids is good though you, you peep kids it's a very it's a pretty good movie okay okay uh, it's streaming on something for you well keep going yeah but, i'm like i and i and i know i do believe that that stuff happens for real <laughs> now don't get me wrong were people having and was i aware that people were having sex yes am i aware that i was a late late bloomer absolutely i didn't have sex to almost my senior year of high school so i get it like some people you know, lost their virginity at like in middle school. Strange to me, I was still playing with Barbies, not judging you, not gonna yuck you young. Great. Um, but even even in that aspect, it's just like I just feel that it's just some of the things that happen and when it and, and it's always at the expense of women. Like I would never want okay. to be on the receiving end of a Drake situation. <laughs> okay, you know so I mean? Amazon like, like, Prime. Prime. Kids you, is on Amazon know. Prime for people that- what, What'd you say? Your, some, for your listeners, Kids is on Amazon Prime. They can keep it for free if you got it on Amazon Prime. Okay, great. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you know how men are kind of like put off like kind of standoffish in regards to dating Taylor Swift because they don't want to become the next song, his song. I'm like that when it comes cute. to Drake. I still think she's cute. 
Is that okay for me? That is not the topic of discussion. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, okay, if you want to make it problematic, is me that I still have love for Stacey Dash, regardless of what she does. I still would be kicking it with her. And I dare y'all to say something about my boo. I got an issue because Stacey Dash had made me look fat one time in real life. One. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you. Sidebar. Um, okay, so there was a movie filmed in St. Louis called A Ghost Image. This is back when I was in college and I was an extra in the film. Um, so whatever it was, like Stacey Dash and I had taken this photo. We had similar like outfits on. Like she had like this creamy yellow. I had on something. She was in St. Louis. She was in St. Louis. She filmed a movie in St. Louis. Oh dang! I should. And I, I I do have credits. I have an IMDb page that has <laughs> none, none of my current or nothing on there. But yes. So anyway, we took this picture, and y'all know I'm already tall. Mm -hmm. It's like I looked. I don't know if you ever she's saw small, that. She's a, small, of, she's a small woman, though, right? Yeah, she's, she's small. small. She's a really small woman. Yeah. So I don't know if you ever saw that picture of Meg the Stallion with that boy from St. Louis that's now promoter in Atlanta called PB or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you remember that? You remember how tall and big Meg mm -hmm. was, but he looked so small. That's how I looked. Oh, okay. Drastically. Because yeah. that's the de the depth perception of the different yeah. heights and everything. Yep. Yeah. So, um, but that's my problematic thing, though, is, is somebody like a Stacey Dash, not necessarily a Taylor Swift. Like. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. listen. But 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 I get your point, though. I get I get what your point, though. Yes. yes. So with that being said, I just feel that I would never want to be caught in the crossfire of a song of his because he becomes an angry, bitter person. Very mm -hmm. very bitter. And we see how even in the blink of an eye, like I feel like like Rihanna was like, I'm here, not here for a long time, but I'm here for a good time. Mm -hmm. And he wanted more and she would not give him that. And so then I feel like at one point, yes, like you did a song with Chris Brown. He was on the Deuces remix. Then it's like you're professing your love for Rihanna. Like, so now you think you're going to be with Rihanna. They even have a fight about this in the club yeah. out here. Tony Parker got uh, cut up. Yeah, Tony Parker. Parker got cut. Remember, Chris Brown had that gash in his mm -hmm. chin. Um, I think I think even Karuchi got caught in that crossfire because by now he's dating Karuchi. So it was a lot of a lot of bottles of wrong, like you know, weird things that happen. And then so now you're professing your love for this person, and then like like just like how he kissed up on her and, and did this loud extravagant thing when she was getting her Vanguard award. And then when she wasn't receptive to it, the next day you hanging out with Chris Brown. Y'all think that's weird? <laughs> it's weirdo behavior in general. It's weirdo behavior. And now you have these lyrics in your, your a song that dropped. I wasn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely transparent with y'all. Drake hasn't had a solid body of work since his head was in the clouds. What was the name of that album? Oh, you talk exactly about under, under twenty. Under twenty, talking about though. It's the one no, that's got uh, nothing was the same. Yeah. Yes. And that that's was twenty twelve, twenty eleven. Probably. Uh. So yes. So that to me, that's the last time he had a a, a really solid body of work. Uh tried to listen to views eh, was it really my thing and that's okay <laughs> everything after that just sounds like one long song and not in a good way like beyonce's album sounds like one great song right like long song mm -hmm. but there's great transitions that happen and you're like shit like I can't it. but drake is like i don't know what's happening this isn't good i mean to answer the first question, <clears throat> I think somebody's always going to want to holler at him because they got, because people are um, egotistical in general by nature. Oh, of course. They and think it ain't going to be them in the next song. Like they think they're going to be the one that conquers Drake. Oh yeah, it's 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 always going to be that. He's always now. Gonna I think another celebrity woman wouldn't mess with him. I don't think he's going to be able to mess with any celebrity women. Probably not because that's different. But I think of because they like, oh, dude, you. I already know your mo. Like. I'm just, as, I'm not as, maybe you're bigger, quote unquote, bigger, 
but I got shit to lose too. But if you a chick that's from Las Vegas, that's just a cute absolutely. chick from Las Vegas, you're gonna take that chance. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's just so funny because you know, um it, it, it just sounds like even even the song, the situation, the circle, the circle local song. You know, uh, oh, okay, the one you tell my Meg. Yeah, so where he makes the, the comment about Meg, and for the listeners that are not got a writing credit on the album somehow too, recently for that song. She did. She got a writing credit. <laughs> Who maybe he should, because he's trying to play like, and I could, and I'm reading. I read the lyrics, mm-hmm. so I could see how. Someone can say, "Oh, he. Wh- what do they call that?" He's talking, like, he's he was talking, supposed to be talking about the Elk the Stallion. That's what he. he claimed. That's what they're trying to say. He was talking about this other chick, right? And she ain't been popping in like ten years. So make it make sense for the people listening. He said this bitch a lie about getting uh getting shot, but she's still a stallion. Then a few more bars down, he said, "Shorty say she graduated. She ain't learned enough." Uh, play your album track 1K. I've heard enough. Right? He talking about her. He talking about her. And I don't know why. There's nothing about these boys from Toronto. I thought they was cool. But it sounds like you're upset because possibly now let Meg tell it. She said they didn't sleep together. That's how I'm not going to I'm I'm not going to and when I say they, I mean she and the guy that uh, is her that she accused of shooting her, which is Tory Lanes, aka Tory Lames, aka a gremlin, aka a leprechaun that really don't have no pot of gold at the end of his rainbow because he on house arrest. So, with that being said, it's like how do I keep getting caught caught in the crossfire? What did you have to gain for what you said about me? When I ain't done nothing, I'm like Meg is the least problematic person. She's one of the least problematic people in the in the rap game because she don't really when stuff happens. She comes. Like, she's whatever, she is like, okay, what are you talking about? Like we have each other's number. Like so, why are we talking about this online? So you have my number. Why didn't you call me? Like she's like that. She don't want to be yeah. in the mix of no drama. She already been through a lot. You know, both her parents died and her grandma died. He, he shot out. He shot for no reason. He shot for no reason, and because he knew we will be doing what we are doing now, but he wasn't expecting me to go do an investigative report and call him a low key, a grooming pedo. But that's weird to me. But that's none of my business, though. But it kind of is because we're talking about it. <laughs> I mean, he's everything that's wrong with the world. He really is. He's, and the, what, epitome of it. he's the epitome of it. Like seriously, I don't, understand, I don't understand where this energy. Why didn't you have this energy or any other for energy? Pusha that, for Pusha T, for Pusha Diddy, Diddy, and uh, Ti Homeboy that peed on you in the movies. Yeah. Like who? Like where is? The, so here's the thing. My issue is, we allow people to perpetrate and take up too much space in our community. You're not even from here. You moving like you from Memphis when your daddy from Memphis when your daddy really wasn't fucking with you like that. But his daddy fuck with him now because them checks. <laughs> Always the weirdest, but and, and I understand the concept of healing. Same thing with Kanye. Is Kanye's dad wasn't fucking with him until recently. Somebody else's daddy wasn't fucking with them either, but that's none of my business. It happened. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> It happens, trust me. It, it happens. happens often, and I'm like, y'all, yeah, not- and not just on a celebrity level. <laughs> it, it, it it's not like when people when things happen and some pe- person has like come upon a new realm of financial gain. Those people that were ghosts always seem to appear, mm-hmm. always. So I feel that how you let a man. I mean, for real, if we really want to be real, Mm -hmm. I feel like even the beef between him and Meek Mill was only somewhat of a deal or people felt like Drake really got Pusha T, like not Pusha T, uh, Meek Mill was because back-to-back was pretty solid. 
No, it also Meek Mill wasn't and prepared. That Drake had more popularity. Meek wasn't prepared. Drake, he's more popular than Meek Mill. Yes, but he was also wasn't prepared. I don't think Meek Mill really thought he was gonna do that shit. Like gonna really do nothing to him. And so he wasn't prepared with no bars. Yeah. And yeah. Drake dropped two songs that Cass is playing in the club. Yeah. It's hard, man. That's hard to come back. And then he was taking too long to respond. Yeah. I remember on our podcast, we had a countdown to when Meek Mill was gonna respond. It took him, I think, like 21 days. And Drake had like two songs out by then. Cause he had uh what was it back to back was the second. What was the first yeah. one? I'm turned uh, up or I'm turned up or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta think, and he dropped those like back to back. Meek took too long, but Meek should have in a rap world beat him. But Drake, I will give Drake the props on that. He was strategic. He well, he understood or, he knew that this or he had some he knew that because Nikki told him that he this nigga ain't prepared. That's a that's a possibility as well. And he, yeah. he knew he could attack. But was yeah, it, it wasn't she part of this beef too? Because it was like Yeah. He, was, what he said is, is he said, is that your song or your girl's song? That was a dope lyric. That was a dope lyric. So I'm not I'm not taking anything like from Drake. I you know, but I don't know if he wrote that. Once again, I'm gonna go back. To I was my gonna reading. say I was gonna get there. That's what I was gonna say. Or did he write it? I, I was gonna know. get there because according to Pusha T, who also, you know, uh, announced to the world right that this man has a kid on the low with a, uh, pro- I, you know, what prostitute is a harsh. No, I, I would say an internet sex worker. Yes, a, a sex worker. There, I mean, if we were if we weren't Aaron, I, I'd name it something else. But for the sake of the conversation. I'm a put it in the internet sex worker. Oh. And so um where this person literally I can't even remember how the Pusha T Drake beef started because you know Drake beef with everybody. You remember he said he would mm-hmm. never work with Kendrick uh, again or J. Cole again after oh it was Kendrick after uh motherfucking um overdose not overdose uh yeah uh-uh. it wasn't an overdose it's the one where he went in on everybody every uh, he went in on it wasn't every- overdose it's, uh, yeah but I, I can't remember the name of it um and but- so it's like drake always finds himself in the middle of something that he, like it's like okay but drake is gonna go after the top tier mcs he's not gonna but that's what i'm saying but you you and we all know i'm a push a t fan mm-hmm. like that push a t is amazing push a t is I know what I listen. I don't know how much he can move that dope, but I'm here for it. Yeah, look, I learned about <laughs> a lot of cocaine selling over the years from the clips. <laughs> wait, 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 y'all! I just read the comment in the chat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it's really not that bad. It's just hella funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be better. Oh, but you know, I just, I just feel that sometimes it's like, I hate when men have smoke for women and they don't stay in their lane. Like, it's like, they always try to come for women on some type of like, like power move or like the person that's like next akin to them, like for you to even talk about Serena Williams, a uh, husband and this nigga guy, he's, like, he's a billionaire. I'm like, yo, okay, so that's just really weird. And you, how you gonna call this nigga a groupie for his wife? And when you know the biggest wife, groupie there is. I he just said it the show. He, everything wrong with society all in one. He is. In one he be the niggas that I be seeing in the club out here. That's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm with I'm with LeBron tonight, and like, yeah, LeBron getting this video, and it's just like LeBron turn around. Like, my tape. Well, LeBron might come up with a lie. Oh, because you think he's just a good PR person to be like, oh, hey, what up, y'all, what up? Yeah, no, LeBron gonna come up with a lie because he's been listening to, to the Migo since 09, apparently. So, whatever. So, and LeBron, like I said, I ain't never seen LeBron James finish a book. That meme was hella funny. He always on the first page of a book, and then he never know the words. You be big fans of people, but you never know the words to any of the songs. Maybe he be listening to like Mozart or something in them headphones when he be working out for real classical music. He could be. I mean, I mean, if you just look, if you break down Drake, he's over emotional. That's what a lot of a lot of people are now. Yeah, he's got to show off. That's a lot of people now trying to show us all like dis sneak dissing, dissing, putting a hand behind their back 
and like throwing throwing a stone and putting my hand behind my back. Yep. And and being like, no, 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 I wasn't talking about maybe stuff. Knew knew you even if you weren't, you you knew you need to change that lyric because you knew people were gonna believe that regardless. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you could have easily slipped in there. Like what's what's the lyric again? Let me let me hold up. Oh, the lyric I got it. Read it again. Read it again. Okay, so the lyric is I had to unlock my phone. This about uh this bitch lie about getting shot, but she a stallion. And then the elk. Other one, and then he could have had a little thing, uh, ad lib in the back. Elk. <laughs> it would have nobody nobody would have been people. I mean, she would have took it as a diss, you know. But I mean, hey, whatever. Um, but you would have if she if you know like how did you uh, ad lib in the back? You mm -hmm. know, like uh you know like like when they say oh, yeah, he could have been like elk. Yeah. If you really, you he knew what the fuck he was doing. He knew what he was doing, and that's the thing too. I like, it's, it's it's very. But it's I very, think the tide is changing on him, though. I think this is his. This may be his downfall. Yeah. Or, or the beginning of it. I won't say it is the downfall because you got to do some more shit. But but now, it's weird. Really, it's not it. enough. I will I will say this. The interesting thing that I have even seen in conversation is how many people that still want up for this album, and. A lot of reviews for this album were not received well. No, it wasn't. But I um, like Twenty One Savage though, straight up. I, I but, know. Uh, you know, but people did say they enjoyed Twenty One Savage. I know it's something about. I don't know. I never liked him, and then one like that. Drake, the J Cole changed my whole opinion of him. That song. Oh that yeah, I did like that song. No, and then I started listening to. I was like, this little no. I, I'm not a a, a huge. I'm gonna say rap fan i enjoy songs when i hear them or i will out I'll, and i'm going to be completely transparent when migos dropped their individual projects the only one i listened to was takeoff and that's me being we've already displayed how many songs i actually own that are by the migos on our uh, we are we've already done that you only own three songs by the migos <laughs> he only owns three songs by the migos Two by them, they're featured on the other one <laughs> see so I, I will say this so I have never listened to a full 21 Savage project ever. I haven't either, but I like so, him. Every time I hear but him. I remember he had the song that kind of like, I think that went mainstream. It was just like, uh, I'm just stunting on my ex bitch or whatever. Like that. Yeah. Look, I don't, I don't know all the 21 songs. I'm, I'm, I'm a comfortable with someone playing 21 with me. I have no problem with no 20. Yeah. I just, I think it's just still strange to me that he's British. He came to the States when he was like 14. Where's his accent? Where'd no, he go? I he moved over like in nine or 10 or something. No, he was like a teen because I think he was like on a work visa or something. Because remember, that's the whole thing that happened. Like, I, yeah, because he got held up cut up by ISIS or whatever. Yes. When they was right. How did he get caught? Like, oh, did he get pulled over or something? Like, what happened that they was like, <laughs> this nigga visa is, is expired? Here's and that's oh, no, not he, he moved. He moved to her at twelve. Oh, that's what I was like. I knew he was a teen. Yeah. He was. But he was still a teenager. Yeah, he was a teenager. He was a teenager. So it's but you like, can easily get. Well, you know what? Because I know people that moved over here in Britain and they kept their accent. It just depends. Yeah, Chantal's been here for like fifteen. Okay, that's my sister-in-law, but she's from London, and she, um, damn, like she came here because I think she started working. She knows she worked for like Abercrombie or something like so. She moved from London to like Ohio or something first, I think. Um, but she's been here a long time, so she still has her accent. It's still heavy. Uh, and it's but funny. Moved over as an adult though. Yeah, she was in a like. Yeah, I graduated after college, so yeah. Yeah, I think it's harder than that. But if, if you move over at twelve, that's like I think if I, I would think that you would like. I lost my accent just even in college, my St. Louis accent when I went to college. Because I wasn't around people that was, you know, from from the mo no more. So, so I th from I think it depends too. It's like you know, I oddly am around a lot of people that are from St. Louis. Yeah, so you so keep it, your accent stay there. <laughs> so my accent is here, but it it depends like the setting. Like now, where I can like have the certain drawl or say the certain slangs, depending on the setting, not so much. But people also really love it, you mm -hmm. know. So it's like, oh, you're so warm, and I'm like, I guess. Nick, niggas be shooting on my blog. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas be dying every day. Be where I'm from. Yeah, it sounds uh, real nice. <laughs> but 
but the but he's a problem, thing, though. He's a problem. Yeah, like, but but to me, like Drake is a problem, and he, I think, why ne- Negroes call mm-hmm. himself mm-hmm. love Drake so much is because he emulates because we know he perpetrating. You're not yeah. from here. He's basically you, everything that anybody that they, that, they, that they love and they don't even realize that like, it's like a gimmick. He's the Drake best. Is nothing is, yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's a huge gimmick because I'm always like, I'm like, you you would never do that. Because just like how, dr- dr- you know, drop, okay, well now he is uh, I forget his new name. Uh, oh. Dram. 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 Oh, Dram changed his name? Yeah, he go by a different name. He be singing. He got this song with SZA. That's a that I love. But he he be singing his heart out on that song. Hold on. I know him and Drake got into it. Oh, yep. Shelly. It's called Shelly. Shelly. Yes, yeah, so I was like, he go by Shelly now. So I was That's like, a I like, name. Yeah. Okay. So, but even even the shot that he took at at, at him. Because they got to like, a fight, right? Or like, he, his, no, his security jumped him, right? Well, he said something about him. And, you know, Shelly was trying to run up and he got done up. That's the St. Louis reference, guys. Yeah. You have to look at that song, up, run up, get done up. He ran if up. If you beef and I got you. If you beef and I got you. <laughs> so, uh, so and here's the funny thing. Dram even says, hey, I ain't even gonna lie, they gave me that work. But it's like, why are you still talking about this years later? Where was this energy for all of these people like Diddy that slapped you, you know, um, and other, you know, Pusha T, everybody else that have said things about you. You never said nothing when DMX said that you had like, he DMX said like, you wasn't about that life either mm-hmm. on a breakfast club. Yeah, that was a live interview too. That was, it was a live, live interview. interview. And you, so that's what I have an issue with. It's like men that always feel like they have the space to like, you know, like, oh, you you, you, you coming for me? Yeah, bully a woman and or anyone that's Bullying cool. women, trying to come at women. And it's like, that's such a lame pussy move. And that's a lot of these, a lot of these cats it's out here. A lot of like, men, like a lot of men, are like that. But like I said, it's but also he's a, he's a, he's a tale for women too, though, because a lot of women be digging these dudes that be acting like that. It's it's okay. It's a referendum on women. Today, <laughs> when that was happening, and if you saw a woman tweet something in in, in you know in favor of Meg with the lyric, and you read the comments below it. It is honestly disgusting how many women and black women are like, well, she didn't get shot. Really? Like it, it's women going in like the in defense of Drake consistently. I, I really even, hope, even, real, real talk though, like I really hope. I mean, I'm, I do believe Meg, but I really hope she's not lying about this because this would be a horrible. And yeah. I and I believe it's not, and honestly I believe it it is that she did get shot because the DA would be all over this shit like they they I mean like they would they would have dropped it if they had any inkling of yeah. this being like it would not I, I, it would still not be an ongoing situation now I think because she could have been walking away what if the plot twist because she she was had her back time what if the plot twist yeah. is that it was actually her homegirl, like maybe her homegirl wrestled with the gun, but we know yes, that. But I'm saying, but but they gotta be sure. I mean, I guess they can't be 100 sure. But man, this will be an epic fumble if it come if that something if that situation happens. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, geez. but she, but like all she knows is, yeah, that's her truth. But and I'm, then, but, I'm and, but these, I feel they, like they, the they dialogue victory lap. They're gonna have them, and their victory lap is gonna be for the next ten years. And honestly, I will say this. Based on the text that she had even shared after the situation happened, when Tori was like still contacting her, mm-hmm. that's what make you kind of feel like, okay, something. But abusers, good. but supposedly abusers like to do that shit though. They do it all the time. You, they do it all the time. So, th- but that's what I was, I was like, uh, it's, the, it's the text messages that kind of give you, ooh. Like he's like, man, I like you all right? Like. 
Like, you know, I mean, I, like, it, it was him just being so apologetic. But it make, but it doesn't, not it, apologetic. It, then that, that's the thing that confuses me then because the judge would be privy to this information and all of the stuff that we haven't seen yet. They would be, uh, why are they so hard on him and not being lenient when it comes to his bail and shit like that if it's so concrete to maybe go the other way as well? Yeah. Um, and also now, like it's been several situations where, you know, now, the, like I said, the niggas on house arrest for even, you know, I feel like he was out on bail and they was like, okay, cool. This is what happened. You, you can't kick it doing too much. You, but you doing too much. You know, the situation even with, with the baby, you know, which was still very weird for <laughs> baby and Meg to have worked so well together and put out so many great songs. And then you flip on her. And then he's pillow talking to then you have, and then you put Tory Lanez, you know, have him come out, which then violates his the restraining order. Mm -hmm. Then that nigga turns around and even gets into it with August Alcina. He was insulted that somebody didn't see him. Whatever, like I don't owe you. Uh, I don't owe that to you. I don't understand why people feel like people owe them so much shit. I mean, you attack him. Yeah, it's fucking weird old behavior. It's so many people. Like it's so much. A lot of people just need help. It's weird old behavior, man. That's that's. It, it's just hmm. it's just ghetto hood behavior. But it it makes me circle back to like the comments even about. The, the women that are standing in alliance with Tory Lanez, Drake, and whoever else have abused women. You know, I will say that, and I say this all the time, that many black women don't know the plight of black women because they are so caught up mm -hmm. and used to certain levels mm -hmm. of abuse mm -hmm that's normalized to them we talk about this on the yeah. show yeah women you know our 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 community understanding and thinking have been conditioned to think that without like love has to come at a struggle when it's not like that like we glamorize we glamor yeah we glamorize these situations that don't even have to exist but because we're conditioned because it's what we know what we've seen on tv what our you know our parents are experiencing they don't know what it's like yeah. well, like for me like it, it, it is so crazy how how conditioning even happens because think about we grew up in the hood <laughs> we grew up in the hood but yeah. we was bougie niggas in the hood yeah yeah i agree and, and i had to stop my mom one day because she was talking about like they grew up on Maffet mm -hmm. and I had a cousin that um, their house burned down to the ground my cousin was looking for something under the bed instead of using a flashlight he used a candle my other cousin Sean was sitting in the middle of the bed the mattress catches on fire my cousin Sean had third degree burns all over his body his entire life oh so he survived he survived barely and oh, so his, whole body burned up. his whole body was he passed away um, oh, from the burns? No, 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 no. This is later, later, later in life. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, but so, so when their house burned down, my granny moved them to Peru would I go. Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> and there was no neat reason for them to be in the projects, whatever. We'll talk offline. That's a whole nother thing to unpack. But how do you go Ooh, to the Peru I go? Shit. So, so um no actually no they they i don't know they i know they grew up in the, the vine projects but then i i don't know if they ended up program i go if they ever went because uh, what year did he get burned because the prude i goes i can't old. i can't even rem remember um but i you know poor i go don't even because gateway is where that is now but uh, i know they um actually the project they lived in was the vine uh, projects, yeah, but whatever was, it was, no reason for them to go to the projects. Yeah, yeah, because they proved I goes got closed in seventy six, and so, um, so she was talking about like that experience. She's like, you know, when you was we were dating certain people or, or whatever, like you become a part of, and that was just the worst thing that ever happened. You know, like to us, I felt like that really changed a lot of things for us, and I was like, and that's okay, but you don't have to be a 
you you are not that person mm -hmm. you know think about where you that that is just a, you know part of your story that didn't shape you like you are a completely different person because we are constantly evolving and you chose to evolve you know and not knocking you know her experience because it's very valid it's true that it's something that she went through and not trying to take anything from her but i didn't want her to be stuck in that space you know and and, and then like a certain level of grief and misery come over her because i'm like girl you doing things that like you went to we're going to study abroad you know she went to london in the 80s you know, That's really do some stuff. Yeah, you know, and my mom, like, ultimately, we go to you know law school, get her degree, all this stuff, be able to practice law. These are things that you dreamt of, like, always wanted to do, and you did it. And so, I'm a huge firm believer that you don't have to be a product of your environment, but there are some people that can never see past their neighborhood. Oh, unfortunately. yeah. Is the and great comment said on uh, Black Star song Resp "Respiration." He said, "I'm talking to my guy about how the world, uh, how, how I'm talking to my guy about how traveling the world sounds. Come to find out, he ain't been past downtown. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I mean. I, it, that it, lyric is so deep, man. Especially if you grew up where we came from. You know, I I remember even just telling people, um, you know, like ultimately where I wanted to end up and what I wanted to do, and they couldn't fathom that. Mm-hmm." Well, I don't, well, I don't, I don't, Drake go to. I want to see where he where did Drake grow up in in Toronto. Toronto got some hoods. Yeah. Drake I'm like, actually, maybe Toronto has a problem and and, and their names are Justin Bieber. Well, I, I, I don't know. Like, I think, that, I think like, Toronto has a, a tenuous relationship with both of them, to be honest. This high school look nice. <laughs> He went to Forest Hill Collegiate Institute and Vaughn Road Academy. Both of these look nice. That well, sounds hella rich. Vaughn Vaughn Road might be kind of kind of hood though. This one kind of man. This one might be a little ranch. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this mug look like a north of uh, the, the West Side School right here or South Side School. I was like West Side School. We I actually we did have we. That's why I went to I I went to Montessori School over there. Yeah, but no, it's some it's a west side, some west side of your grammar school. I mean, Car Lane. That's not the west side. Yes, it is. What are you talking Car Lane? about? Car Lane is next door. Like literally, it's a church separating them from Gateway Middle. No, Car Lane is right next to uh, uh Car Lane. So Dan, so Dan. No, it's not. That's Car. That's Clark. You sure? I'm confident, dog. Trust me. Carlene is oh, on. Oh no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm tripping like a mug. You're right. Yep. You are. And you was about to fight me. I was. I you was. was. Like, this is just school right next misogynistic, door. Misogynistic, aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> but no, right next door. I'm talking about that school right next door. The uh, that middle school right next door to Soldan. Was it a good school though? I don't know. I didn't say it was good. I just said there were okay. West Side schools. I just said they. It's existed. still open. Is it still open? I think so. Actually, no. I think that might be open because they closed. There are no elementary schools kind of in my hood because there was Ford up the street. Uh, we went to Washington and Euclid Montessori. Only Washington oh, Montessori. You went, to the one, uh, you went to the one over off of Page. Yeah, Page and Euclid. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Because it, it was a grammar school across the street from y'all, right? It was too. It was there all a part of the Montessori program. Oh, so that, that school that's across the street, that building across the part of the school. Yeah, Euclid, that's okay. Euclid Branch. I mean, I mean, that's Euclid Montessori and Washington Montessori, and then there's Euclid Branch that is on Ridge, but that might be close too. People are like, You're a Montessori kid, like, oh my God, your parents must have money. And I was like, sure, that shit was free. Yeah. Where I'm from. Yeah. Like, but now, but then as I got older, I um and went to the county, like I would see, like, I didn't know if that was you had to pay for that really until I got here yeah that it was free where i'm from like well, I, I went to montessori school in chicago it was free yeah so i think it depends on the city and the program because like it's a different program it's the magnet program so it doesn't fall under the, the it's the, public school but it's charterish education charter yeah. yeah it's more yeah definitely but um sure. you know it's just interesting to see how like that that narrative shifts and i'm interested to see you know especially with 
what has happened recently in hip hop culture, you know, um, losing take takeoff, uh, just so in a eerie, weird way, you know, um, and just unfortunate, but to see if people going to start like holding each other accountable and, and certain stuff, are we going to be able to, they already okay. talking about beef between Atlanta and Houston right now. There's a beef. With, oh, because of that. Mm hmm. I could, I, I mean that's understandable. No, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying you 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 went the wrong direction. You need to make they going the opposite way. You think you're like, hey everybody, let's think about accountability. They like, fuck that. We picking up the guns. They went the other way. <laughs> Look, can we all just get along like the great late Rodney King said? I just I just wonder when there will be some sort of shift. And it's weird because that even you know you're being optimistic in general. I, this happens as an Aquarius. I know, no, 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 no. I'm, I think that we can change overall, but I just think that to think that it's going to be a big sweeping change. Oh no, no, it, 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 we probably won't see that in our lifetime. Okay, there we go. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are a few things that I feel like there needs to be a conversation about, even when it comes to how we treat each other, uh, men and women. Certain things that we have to let go of, and certain dynamics that we have to let go of because the system is outdated. And, and things that are put in place were never put in place for us to thrive and survive. You know, you know we're going to be able to come together, right? Yeah, doing, yeah. Like, like, like I don't together. think we will. I, I think that we will see a slow shift start to happen, but it probably wouldn't fully exist in our lifetime. But and it's, it's only so one way it can happen, Dom. It, the only way we can come together, period, is people, black, white, men, women, black people's community. It's only one way it can happen. Do you have the floor? Aliens. They need to come attack us. Like, for real. That's the only way we're going to be able to get unity. I've been saying that for a long time. Independence. You see what happened in Independence Day? You see how everybody rallied together? You know, this is okay. I'm sorry. I, and, and I hate to go back to the, the, the air sign quality. Mm -hmm. That's just the fucking weirdest answer ever. <laughs> That's true. Aliens. No, I think I... We need to have somebody that another threat. No, realistically, realistic, that's a realistic thing. No, it's not though, and that's yes, it is. How is it not? Aliens do exist, right? I didn't say they did it, but I'm. No, realistically, like yes, great, great. In your reality, there may not sense. my reality. I asked you a question: Do aliens aliens exist? Yes or no? I'm con I'm pretty sure we are not alone. All right, we need them to come do something where we can feel like we need to fight them. That's the only way we're gonna have unity. I, I don't want to fight them because they're too far. I mean, if they were smart, if the if the the world was smart, and now that's how you know they want to keep us divided to a certain extent, because they could just fake an alien land and get us to get to come together, and but they still want to keep us apart because that could get people together. If you fake a alien invasion and like had them come in and like like dip off. And be like, yo, we got to come together. They go come back. And then we have like a dude in a makeup suit, like send a, 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 a male thing, like talking to some gibberish or whatever like that. He going to come back. I bet you we'd be, I bet you we'd be unified, but they don't want that. I don't even know if you are equipped to understand my response to this. So I never mind. Heard. Tell me that my idea isn't good. It's a terrible idea. How is it terrible? You're talking from a, a, a magic, an imaginative. Nope. I'm talking about from real practical things that we they could do. This is why people think Aquarius is a weird. No, 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 no. You got to feel me on this because people think. I that don't have to feel you. I was to say we could just go back to Africa and start over. No, 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 no. Because if we have issues with us being. No, nope, I don't. I think yes. I think it's this misunderstanding that happening that's happening. But I've been even following like I got a homeboy right now in South Africa. But they, I heard it's all love. It's they want us to come home. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm like I'm down for I mean, that. That's a temporary I'm issue. The alien thing would save us all. What in what, every movie? What happens? Everybody comes together in every alien invasion movie. We all come together, right? That's the only time we come together in any movie. Am I right or wrong? I. They, even at the end of the Dr. King movie, they killed him. They won't do that when the aliens, because it's an alien invasion. 
Now, the only only twist on this is that it could go the opposite way too and turn into the Walking Dead, and people to start killing each other because they scared of this going into craziness. But I'm willing to put that bet down and slide in on and see what we can do. Let me get some of the best uh, 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 3D animators and uh, costume designers to make aliens, make them feel real too. And we're gonna take out some people too because they're gonna have to show that they real threat. So who would you take out? I mean, we could do without the state of Montana, right? Like, I mean, that's the state we could just get rid of. Like, I mean, it does, it serves us no purpose for real. I mean, I don't even think they grow that much cattle and stuff there, like that much, uh, that much, uh, agriculture there. You know, I don't know what happened to my investigative report. I thought we were going to come together. <laughs> I be, I be real this shit. No, I'm just saying, real talk, could we just get rid of Montana? Uh, I, I was thinking we could get rid of if let okay. Fuck, since we're here. It's too many fine no, no, for me to give up. No, nope, I'm about to tell you. Not Montana. Montana ain't doing enough damage to us. Yes, it will. It'll get white people. No, ball. listen to me. We got to get rid of Florida or Texas. No, it's too many fine women there. We can't do that. See, that's why I can't put you on the staff. You would say something ridiculous like that. We can't have that in the, on, on my Joint Chiefs of staff. You, can't do it. Is it, it no. That's a fucking lie. Are you serious? I would first of all for you to even try to tell me that I can't be on the team. We got a whole nother problem in our friendship. Look, look, number one, it's number two, it's a fine bitch could be found any fucking where. All them no, 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 no. It's not just any that. damn way. Also has number our three, military base. Texas is just stupid. Um, and we could also get rid of Kentucky because I can't stand m melty, mugly, fugly as Mitch McConnell. No, oh, look, Montana is an easy win for us. It's a loser win. No, it's no, not. It makes said, it no, makes it gives no, it gives, no, it's, it's no. not as it's, it's not as much damage. Why are we even talking about this? Because you ain't really as tough and hard as you think you are. Because you're not trying to get rid of the the, the terrible states. They're, They're not terrible. Not Look, we you, get you rid of Montana. Where? Listen to me on this now. Get rid of Montana. Let that be locked down for a little while. Radiation. Let's lock that area down, and then it'll bring unity. It'll rush the white people out of some of those states to try to go up there to do something. They'd be like, we got to go to Montana. I thought we were out. talking about Drake and Drake's problems and the weird- Drake will go too, because he'll be a groupie. Some, Drake will go because he's a groupie. He'd be like, they'd be like, you, we want you to perform at the, uh, the alien invasion site in Montana. I'll do it. I have a new song too about it called Invasion and how we gonna get them back. And then we can- Ooh, got it. You know, I just don't understand how yeah, somebody could talk about how they got into the a fake spaceship thinking he's going to go perform somewhere. He look like this. I'm sorry. I'm shaming. Like, this That's is the most kid? mediocre. That's his kid? Yeah. And the, and the, the baby mama. I mean, I, I won't comment on her. Um, I wasn't commenting on I wouldn't comment on the kid because I feel like kids are off limits, but yes, I was talking I about the baby mama. But I'm saying put Drake on this spaceship. And we can just shoot the shuttle out and we can get rid of him. See, it went back right back to there. Alien invasion gets rid of Drake, gets rid of some white people that we don't like, and maybe some black people we don't like too. Goodbye, Herschel Walker. Cause he'll go. We'll get all these ex all these patriots to run up there and we just put them on ships. And they pay for the seats though. Cause then they think they go into a new world, but right to, to, do, to fight to fight the aliens. These fake aliens we made. No, up. they don't want to fight them. Like we just kind of blow the, the the thing up and say the aliens. Oh, you saying they think they say the aliens are coming back? Anybody that want to leave can go, send them out, and then we just have the world. Yeah, just blow it up. I like that. That I, I'll do. I, I that's a, that's a backup plan. I like that backup plan. I like that backup plan. See, you know, I just want to just. Comment. You're back on the staff. You're back on the staff. <laughs> So because I said, oh, no, let's just blow up the spaceship. Let's just kill them. Yeah. But I don't think that they're going somewhere. I just want to also say that how your hairstyle is today <laughs> and with this statement, this last rant, <laughs> you're like an evil villain. So I look like an evil, like an evil black villain in a movie. Like yes. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, 
I would love to have you back for another investigative report. Of course, of course. Yo, listeners, if y'all want to get down with this alien invasion thing, hit me up. We can make, we can start a whole underground thing to get this going. And y'all can elect me to office. Even if it's a mayor, I'll be the mayor of a town and fake a, of alien invasion. Sir. It's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. I am so confused. It's all right. I, I appreciate you though, Dom. I appreciate you telling me on seriously though, man. I love always chopping it up with you. I, you know, we have a great chemistry. Uh, yes. We have something really great. Um, the last episode is going. The it's all uh, it, it's the it's the one into conspiracy theory. Like they're they conspiracy theory in each other within the comments. Now. I didn't even think about that. That was the crazy thing in my mind. Always, and I, I hate that. Listen, here's the crazy thing is that I even have a little conspiracy theorist person inside of me because my mom made me this way, right? We <laughs> talk about conditioning because mm -hmm. I swear my mom just be like. I'm I'm just saying this and I'm just like fuck. I really am turning into my mom it's really wild but I also I I uh I I didn't even think about that like y'all y'all have to tap into the everybody uh everyone needs to it's it's so the, so it's they're talking about the takeoff being a sacrifice now in the comments and <laughs> about i don't th somebody I, put a video on there that's three hours explaining this okay, i'm not i'm not i'm listening. not doing I that I, I commented i mean somebody com i didn't comment somebody else commented in there saying hey man can you give me the cliff notes i'm not watching three and a half hours of no thing i'm not nobody is it's and it is also shout out to Kyrie who wouldn't either i because he <laughs> you know he did before we go i want to say this to my people my black people At some point, everybody isn't trying to take something from somebody. We also understand how the world works. Nobody's trying to silence anybody, but it's also use your best judgment, right? Maybe we understand this from a different standpoint. We are educated and agreed up in this realm, right? When we were, we had to take ethics classes and media law classes in order for us to graduate. Part of that, there are tears that happens when it comes to the world of being a public figure. Um, and Kyrie Irving falls into top uh, tier A. So he is an A-list public figure slash celebrity, however you want to look at it. Is he? There are certain things. Is he yes, A-list? He is now. I, I wouldn't say he's B-list. Oh, okay. okay. And I would say, I would say he is a list because this is somebody that white people and black people know. I feel like that's kind of how we can kind of okay. Is Jay Cole a list? Is Jay Cole a list? He's hidden, but he's a. I would say so because he has touched the hem of like the realm of of that. I I would say so. We okay. Kanye I, you know, and basketball is a bigger thing than than music. It's a bigger, it's bigger, it, exactly. Yeah. So b basketball touches the world. It's worldwide. So yeah. everybody yeah. know yeah. who Kyrie Irving now is. And if they I didn't agree. know, now they know who he is. So he's definitely up there. I want everybody to understand that with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever celebrity title you fall under, that there are, there are certain things that happen. Yes, we have freedom of speech. But freedom of speech gets a little bit tricky and, and kind of becomes null and void when you work for private entities. Mm -hmm. So just like when you go to jobs and there's the rules and regulation, the bylaws that you have to follow of your job. If not, you will be terminated. <laughs> the NBA is the same thing. There are certain things that you cannot and cannot say. And it becomes a huge controversy or a big deal. And had homeboy, I got a problem with not just him. Yes, Amazon should not even have this on there. If this is, you know, I'm not watching three hours of no bullshit like that. I'm just not. But it also should not be on Amazon Prime. But you just can't tweet links out there and then walk away. You knew what you was doing. 
You've been calculated. <laughs> you know what you're doing. All you had to that, say, uh, like we said, you don't want to work. You don't want to work. He don't want to work. I've been saying this for a long time about Kyrie Irving and his behavior for a long time. He don't want to work. And it's cool. And I love that he is on a journey to discover himself. But I hope in the journey, like I told you on the podcast, that he is also taking care of that first child that he has. Because with that, with mm-hmm. finding yourself comes great responsibility as well and take care of everything that you have created in this world. Shout out to Nick Cannon and his 12th child that's on the way. Take care of everything that you have in this no, world. Shout out to Nick. Nick, shout out to you, though, Nick. I appreciate you, man. I, at this point, I can't hate up on you, man. You just, you going along the path. It's not for me to understand. It's not for me. I said my piece. I think it's irresponsible, but that's it. Uh, I, mean, I, I think he's trying to get a new cast of Wild Now that you don't have to pay for. Then child labor laws come into play. You'll have to pay for it. But they're his kids. Have- you know, the child labor laws will come in when, it, when it's your kids. <laughs> They work in family business. Just, you can't catch me up working family business. I Think just, about kids I working just, a farm and stuff like that. I just, I just want to say that our people, we got opinions about everything else, but we don't understand the concept of the law. We don't want to vote. We don't want to change things. We always say how things affect us, but we don't never make the sacrifices and the changes that we can really, uh, to in order to be better versions of who we are, right? Or better mm-hmm. our community. So with that being said, he, we at some point somebody has to take responsibility. He did not take responsibility for his actions. So now it has gone further. It has become bigger than what it needed to be. Had his dumb ass just skip, uh, skip talking to the press. That's what he. <laughs> yep. You know, you think you're so smart. My ass would have not talked to the press. And I would have took my fine if, if and, this and, is a and, fine. If you don't, I would have took my fine. I would have took the fine and kept it moving. You had already said, okay, they said you donate 500, they gonna donate 5 nothing, you gotta, that's it. But now, it's now, now it's like, and so now it's like, okay, now now there are other things that are added in place. And people are like, well, they don't do this to so-and-so, no, no, no. It's different entities. If they feel like that's what that boy has to do, then fine, fuck it. He shouldn't have been dumb. I would have just, but see, because the moment they said, we're going to suspend you out pay, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. When that money comes, I'm telling you, like, it's all a game. <laughs> Everybody playing a game, and you got to play it. He's trying to get them to fire him and, and make him pay his money back. Me and pay, make him pay his money. Listen. And just cut him, like, like cut him. And, like, because if you cut him, you have to pay him his money out. Yeah. So I don't know what will happen in the next upcoming seasons or whatever with Kyrie Irving. I hope he figures it out. He's a talented mm-hmm. guy. Um, no, he's dope. He's dope. Yeah, you know, but hopefully he figures it out and takes some sort of level of accountability when it comes to just things in general. You know, like it, it, it's not just you. <laughs> you true. are affect. No, it's because really think about it. Yeah. You got a whole team that you got to worry about because yeah. you you could be a missing link. Thank God they got a great coach now. Shout out to the black man that got promoted. Yeah, Jacques Vaughn. Yeah. Yes. But I don't. I mean, I don't like him for just because he went to KU, but that's that has nothing to do with it. Okay. All my people that's Mizzou people or Iowa State people or anybody that don't like KU, you know why. But I'm proud of that brother getting that job. Outside, I'm going to KU. Yes. So with that being said, so it 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 is now like you are affecting your entire team, and I think it's so. Mm-hmm. You know, I get it. Like, oh, I'm like, no, it's just like a job. There was a girl that got suspended. Did she or did they fire her? Her goofy, this is when my in my sax days. She went to lingerie, and I think she actually no, she worked in lingerie. She took a photo in like an outfit in the fitting room. Great, no problem. But she posted. And her goofy ass hashtag sex. So the social media people, they check any of those hashtags. They check that stuff. Like they have a department on that. And they, they have people. That check because they, they just want to see analytics and see oh are people loving the store. What they, are they track doing? people. They listen. They track real, real. They track Poshmark, all of that stuff. What's they Poshmark? track it. Poshmark is a resale shop. Like so, people. Oh, okay. Oh, like if they stealing it and then you taking it there. Steal, sell, whatever. They track it. So that's what I'm saying. That you'd be surprised. So it's a private entity. It's a private sector. So that's they have the right to say that you can't. It's freedom. No, the nigga signed a contract for the NBA. What are their terms and guidelines? Did you read that? 
We all understand that. That's common. You know what? No, nope. everybody don't have common sense because nope. Thomas Paine wouldn't have had to create a pamphlet called Common Sense. He's a he's a product of Drake. I'm gonna leave it with that. He's a product of Drake. Kyrie Irving is a product of Drake as well. Um, Daryl, tell everybody where they can find you. <laughs> Because uh, he like really has the world meant to, it's, it's so it's so quite, I don't even want to talk about it no more. We're gonna have to do a part two because by yeah. it's gonna be a part two of this Drake situation because something is going to happen. Yeah, if y'all want to uh get a, on board with getting Drake on a uh, uh on a uh alien ship and sent into space, um, you can hit me up at Dig Game on any platform, um, or and you can have the network SOC network and you can see all the different podcasts on there. Um, I mean, you can see me and Dom every other week on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, which is doing well right now and killing it. And having people talk conspiracy theories now, I didn't know it was going to go there. <laughs> they had no and, idea. And the people, they, they, it, it was one dude, he said, I don't know what she be saying, but she looked good. And I just was like, I don't know. Like, I didn't know. I didn't even respond. I was like, I don't even know what he's, what that means. Because he could have been looking on his phone and not literally not listening, <laughs> like at all. I'm pretty confident that's what it was, but it's just like, <laughs> well, and, but I'm also very open and honest. I'm like, listen, half the time, I know niggas don't be listening to me anyway. Like, but people do listen to us. Yeah. Like y- y'all just see like, well, I'm like, I'm t- I tell y'all all the time. Like they try to say a little slick shit. Think I'm gonna respond. It's lame loser shit to me. <laughs> you're not going to get a response. I'm not that girl. Even on a bad day, you're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. <laughs> I've seen people say bad comments about me on bad days, not on not on our platform, but like other platforms. And I just yeah. feel like you're weird. You're a loser because you're <laughs> you're mad because you're not me. You're coming. So okay, so yes, please be sure to subscribe to the SOLC <laughs> network on YouTube. Yeah. It's so 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 much amazing, great content. Yeah, man. it's so much, and yeah. I really believe that we have something special oh for sure <laughs> this is so you know honestly i was thinking about doing a podcast too but you're so busy but it would be it would only be great for us for, for you and maybe one other person well i mean maybe we, do, we could do a monthly maybe maybe but it would have to be a recap but i would love to do it because this show has such a a, a following What's the show? Uh, Reasonable doubt. On I have never watched. I kind of, I kind of want you to watch it. Hold on. He's like, damn. Now I gotta watch something else. Because I, I hope it gets picked up. Oh no! This is nigga up. Okay, I'm in. It really is, and I feel like it's enough people talking about. Oh, I like the dude McKinley Freeman. He's a good actor. So. He's oh, in Michael it. Is in this too? Michael Ely is in it, playing himself. I'm convinced that that's how Michael Ely is in real life. All right, we can do we can do three or four episodes. Let, we, I'm in. Let's do. Yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like check I'm it in. out because you what you would have to do now because I think it's only nine episodes. Of the I think the season finale might be next week. I'm, I'm not sure, but that's how it looks. So on, is it is it season? Is it ten episodes for the season? I'm not sure. I'm only seeing nine on Hulu. Cause this is a Hulu show. Oh, okay. It's yeah. the original show from Hulu. Um, it's got one coming out next week, the fifteenth. Yeah, so it, but but it doesn't say anything else after that, or maybe maybe it will be. I don't know, but I would love to hear your your breakdown of it, and then yeah, we, let's do. We can do the first four episodes, then we do the back five or whatever. If it's only nine, let's do okay. it. I'm in. I'm on. I'm gonna get on it. We, let's let's do it. I'm in. I mean, okay, because I'm like I started, it, it, and it seems like it's good enough Negro for me, you know. It's, it's interesting enough, and 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 I feel like homegirl fashion is crazy. We just got, I got, I don't understand what's happening with the wig. That's the only thing that's blowing me. Like, the oh, only- so it's starting. Oh, so it's starring a woman, huh? Yeah, it's starring a woman. She's an attorney. Oh, I know Shorty. Oh, I don't, I've never seen her before, but she's pretty. Yeah, she was in uh, Luke, she was in Luke Cage. Was she? Wasn't she? No, hold on, I'm sure. I, was like, I also didn't watch Luke Cage. Oh, she was on Ballers. I feel terrible because I didn't watch Ballers. Ballers was actually pretty good. I like Ballers. And I had a cousin on that show. Who? So, fun fact 
Omar Benson Miller is my cousin. Yes. So which one? Who was that? He is the taller, bigger guy. Uh, he played for the. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's my cousin. Uh, you know what? Maybe did I hear an interview that he said he was probably from St. Louis or something? His, I know his 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 family is. I don't think he. I'm not sure if he was born. No, because he was like he's from San Jose or something. I think. Yeah, I'm like. Um, and another fun fact. You'll really love this one. Okay, because I'm. I I seen Shorty and she was in, she was on Baller. That's why I remember her from for real. Okay. Ball. Um. Lavar Burton is my cousin. Jordy LaForge. Jordy LaForge is my cousin. He married my cousin Stephanie Cozart. Oh man, I love. Do I now? Do I know them? No. Am I going to make an introduction? Yes. <laughs> I do follow. I do follow Stephanie um, on Instagram, and we kind of interact a little bit. But I don't think she know who I am, or, or or maybe she think like, oh, maybe she might say cousin because that's the cool hip thing that cousin that people do. Like, yeah, the black people do like. <laughs> but no. Um, she apparently was really close with uh one of my my uh my great aunt uh Levada. we have some names in our family okay I it's Levada lockety stony uh, you know we got different names so it's just a lot of names out there so um you know so i will i will make i i feel like that's one of my goals of 2023 is to be more open, open. yeah to and I and I feel like I'm a pretty open person, but I I felt like I wanted to be able to let them know, like, hi, I'm your cousin. I'm here. I don't want anything but an interview or two, maybe. Yeah. And maybe we can go get coffee, and that's it. Hey, family's always there. Shout out to everybody. I'm, but we own this reasonable doubt. I'm gonna get my daughter together. Yes, get her um, ready for bed, and I appreciate you. We are going no to. Doubt. Uh, Bring back another investigative report. Oh, yeah, and it, oh, no, another TV show to review. We, I'm back. Let's get it. Well, they've been wanting us to do one since yeah, we got rid of uh, P Valley. We've been doing it all. Break. All and right, that's not coming that. back for some years. So let's do it. So, y'all, thank you so much for uh, tuning yeah. in to another episode of Whiskey Sour with Libations and Conversations. Um, don't forget, I have the candle, same-angeles.com. I also have the promo code for Slide Jewels. I'll put that link in the Bible uh, bio. I'm also featured on another podcast. I am a guest uh, on a rewatch podcast for King of the Hill. I will also put that link in the bio. And there is a code. You have to listen to their episode. I'm looking the show notes in order to receive the uh, code for the candle sale. And I'm not going to tell y'all. So that's, I want to transfer there that traffic over there. Yeah, as yeah well. I like that. I like that. So with that being said, I will see y'all back here next week.